Hello and welcome again to our tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to make use of the elimination method in solving systems of linear equations into variables. The elimination method which I'm going to share with you actually is more preferred by many. Sabi nga dito, the method of elimination is often preferred over substitution. So the first that I have shared with you was the substitution method. But in this case, we will be using elimination which is a little different from that. So we are now going to go to our examples so that uh, you would be able to understand more on how to find the solution set of a given system of equations by elimination method. In order for us to understand further ano ang tinatawag nating elimination method, let us go to our example. Our example are the equations x minus 3y equals 7, 2x plus 3y equals 5. And you see, meron ba tayong po pwedeng eliminate dyan? Kapag sinabing pwedeng i-eliminate, ito yung identical terms. Of course po pwedeng magkaiba ang signs nila. And in this case, we have negative 3y and positive 3y. So what do we do? By addition, we can be able to eliminate negative 3y and positive 3y. So what do I mean? Adding the two equations we have, x plus 2x equals 3x, but your negative 3y plus 3y will become 0. Therefore, your 7 plus 5 equals 12 will be equal to 3x. And by dividing both sides by 3, meron na tayong x. And our x is equal to 12 over 3, or that is equal to... Four. So, from the obtained value of x, which is equal to 4, we can now substitute that to our first equation. x minus 3y is equal to 7. So, that is x minus 3y equals 7 will become 4 minus 3y equals 7. So, by subtracting 4 from both sides, we have negative 3y is equal to 7 minus 4 is 3. And we have there negative 3y is equal to positive 3. We now divide negative 3 to both sides of the equation. So we have negative 3 over negative 3 is of course 1. And y is equal to 3 over negative 3 and that is negative 1. And so our solution set will be for negative 1. Let us examine the second example if meron tayong po pwedeng ma-eliminate the terms in this case. Are there? So, wala pa kasi yung ating variables x and y ay magkaiba pa ang kanilang coefficients. For x, we have 3 and 4. For y, we have 1 and negative 2. So, ang gagawin natin is we have to consider multiplying a specific number to any of this equation para maging similar ang kanilang or para maging equal ang kanilang uh, coefficient. And in this case, we'll be using your equation 1. And what do we do? We multiply 2 to equation 1 so that that becomes 6x plus 2y equals 18 that would already have the same 2y in our second equation. So, parehong-pareho na sila ngayon ng coefficient in that case. Also, pansinin natin na po pwede na tayong mag-add. We have 6x plus 4x is 10x. And then, this 2y plus negative 2y becomes uh, 0. And 18 plus 2 becomes 20. So, dividing both sides by 10, we are already able to find x. And x is equal to positive 2. Okay, by dividing both sides by 10. That's the value of x. Now, from our obtained value of x, we could now substitute that to any of the two equations. Okay? So, in this case, I will be using the first equation. 3x plus y equals 9. Our x value is 2. So, we have 3 times 2 plus y equals 9 and 6 plus y equals 9. So, subtracting 6 from both sides of the equation, we have y is equal to 3. Therefore, our solution set is the ordered pair 2, 3. 
So, ganyan kapag hindi pareho ang ating coefficients ang gagawin natin. Now, let's proceed to our third and last example. All the equations 3x plus 2y equals negative 7, 5x minus 3y equals 11. Ano ang po pwede natin gawin dito para mayroong ma-eliminate na term? Kasi wala pa tayong term dito na pwedeng ma-eliminate. So, in that case, I was thinking of multiplying the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. So, kung papansinin ninyo, yung 2 is the coefficient of your y in the first equation. Yung 3 naman is the coefficient of y in the second equation. Now, sa ganun, ang ating magiging bagong equations would be negative 9x plus 6y equals negative 21 and 10x minus 6y equals 22. So, by addition, we have negative 9x plus 10x, 1x or simply x and that gives us also 1. So, therefore, x is equal to 1. Na-eliminate ng ating 6y at saka negative 6y. Therefore, x is 1. We could now choose any of the two equations for uh, substituting your value of x in that case. So, to find for the value of y, ang gamitin nating equation ngayon, uh, I will choose equation 2. Pwede rin namang gamitin sa equation 1. 5x minus 3y equals 11. So, we have 5 times 1. So, that is 5 minus 3y is equal to 11. Subtracting 5 from both sides, ano mayayari? We have negative 3y is 6. And dividing both sides by negative 3, we have 6 over negative 3 is negative 2. And that is the value of our y. Therefore, the solution for our system, I mean for our equation, is the ordered pair 1 and negative 2. Or 1, negative 2. I hope you have learned something for today in our lesson on the elimination method of solving systems of equation. Thank you very much and God bless.